Welcome to our daily hovers. I'm Mika Namakan and today we're going to be playing through the game God's Basement where we spend our time trying to uncover the secrets of our past. Well, there's someone who's slowly leading us deeper into Perksbury. Okay, well, I'm clearly in Hal's waiting room. Tips! Press the interact key to use objects. The default key is E, but you can change the controls in the pause menu. If you're stuck and aren't sure what you're supposed to do, there are hints. Wait, hints are automatically given if you stay inside now for three minutes. Oh, okay, I'm going to get a lot of automatic hints most likely then. Understood. Welcome to the afterlife. Congratulations, you are dead. Don't worry, we still love you. Here's a trophy. You deserve it. Wait, do I get participation trophy? A participation trophy for dying. Awesome. Where exactly are you? You can call this place God's Basement. Wondering where everyone is? You'll meet them soon enough. One last thing. You can't leave. Well, that is suitably threatening. Okay, new game. Chapter 1. That is what we want. Let's start this. Oh, no. Are you saying my health is being in a working office? Oh, that really is. Oh, wait. Was that how I died? Did I die working in an office? That's kind of sad. And I can't read any of those. Okay. Oh, this is a very tight area. Ah, what? No. Hello, receptionist. You, your phone is ringing. Hello? I don't want to answer it. I'm not doing it. It's not my job. I'm not paid. I'm not paid to answer the phones. I don't want to speak to people. Oh, curses, I'm going to have to speak to people. Okay, hello. Hello, and welcome to God's Basement, a place for special individuals such as yourself. I realize that you may be a bit confused at the moment, but don't worry, everything will be explained soon. You might not be able to remember everything about your past just yet, but those memories will return soon. You might be wondering who else is here, but you'll meet the inhabitants Okay, goodbye, sketchy phone guy. You know, I'm pretty sure I heard him something about us going to the green area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's when I heard the sketchy guy on the phone say, I don't remember him mentioning anything about a blue zone. Nope, no survey. He said enter the green zone and keep an eye out for anything suspicious that you've got to look very closely at. God's basement guide, welcome to the afterlife. Don't remember everything? Your memories will return shortly. Lastly, trust the operator. You know what? I don't think I trust the operator. Mainly because I'm in the afterlife and he decided to phone me. I don't want to speak on the phone. And Kevin Young, the brother. Neil Young, the father. We are James Young. With our mother, Sarah Young. Margaret Young and Frank Young as our grandparents. Are these people all going to be here? Ah, more locked doors. You found my downfall. What the... Removing my ability to snoop. Why would you hurt me like this? Two dead and fatal car crash. Well, I mean, it says fatal crash, but I'm assuming it's by car, so it counts. By Stephen Mills. A fatal accident that occurred last weekend is currently being investigated. Reports say that an elderly couple, along with their infant grandson, were driving along an interstate highway. When the driver lost control, the vehicle swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The driver a retired elderly man by the name of Frank Young was killed in the accident along with his infant grandson, Kevin Young. The only survivor of the crash, Margaret Young, is in a stable condition. Rumors suggest that alcohol might have evolved at the incident, but there is insufficient evidence to properly conclude the suspicion. Wait, can't you just do like, what, a toxicology report or something? 
I mean, you can do that after someone's died, right? Because, I mean, the alcohol's still going to be in the bloodstream. And shouldn't that then be pretty conclusive evidence? So I take it, uh, my granddad accidentally killed himself and my, my brother. This still locked. Aha, uh -huh, so I know what happened to you now. Did I miss it when I was in there? Yeah, I think I did. It didn't really seem to... Can I turn on the TV? Oh! Use object! I can turn on the TV! Oh, hello, Bunny Rabbit! Hi there! Were you my brothers? He died, you know. You know, it's kind of sad. Just having the bunny on the screen with the sad music in the background. I almost feel bad. Hello? Did anyone else wish to see the bunny on the screen? No, it's still locked. Why must everything still be locked? I wish to proceed. Hmm. Did I miss something else? I don't think there's anywhere else I can go, is there? Hi. Did I miss something in my office? Is there anything I can be nosy about? Oh, I've got a cat. It seems to be a very common cat picture. I see it a lot. They clearly just must share custody of that cat, right? Okay, so what have I missed? Was I just meant to watch the screen? Was I not supposed to walk around? Oh! Oh no, there's blood! Our father and our brother. Yes, this because we are now aware they're dead, right? Where's the bunny? Oh! Oh, there he is. He's just... For some he's very far in the distance. As you open the door now... Okay! Well, that is certainly how the door gets open. Thank you! Today, all you had to do was ask. Accuse the door of opening, and the door key will reveal itself. There we go. I understand perfectly. I know how to progress this game. Hello? I'm finding a lot of important documents I'm not allowed to read. Oh, I'm pretty sure they matched my room. Uh, nope, I can't use any computers, but that's good, because I don't want to do any work. I'm dead. Oh, Carstas, why would I have to do work and not even get paid for it? Unless there's some kind of afterlife currency. Oh, a hammer. Can I have it? Oh, I can. It's always good to take a hammer. You never know when you're going to need to bonk something. I mean, clearly there's that creepy bunny bouncing around on the screen. Oh, I mean, I could just take the boards down. I mean, there's an option as well. It's less fun, but it's something I could do. Oh. If you are new to God's basement, trust the operator. He will guide you. And if I refuse? If I refuse to trust you, can I not bonk the screen with my hammer? Oh, no, I seem to have dropped it. Did I break the hammer by taking the boards down? Get out of my way, door. I'm busy exploring. Hello? This place is rather eerie. My looks is very shadowed and very mucky. Did you guys not hire a cleaner? For shame! How is anyone supposed to be productive when all you've got is mess everywhere? Oh, hello. You're remarkably creepy. You remind me of Sweet 776. Of the creepy architect woman that just hides behind the door. Oh, okay, more screens. Oh! Hello! Do I. Are you. <coughs> Grandmother? Grandmother Margaret, was that you? Are you being a creep about the door, Grandmother Margaret? Nope! Nope! I've answered the door once. Why do I have to answer the phone again? I've already answered it. I don't want to speak to more people. No! I'm not doing it! I'm leaving! Oh, curses. Okay, I'm answering the phone. Oh, why am I being punished like this? I found your way to the blue room. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding it. By the way, I forgot to mention who I am. Just call me the operator for now. It's not an official name, but I find it quite catchy. You're making great progress so far. We've been having some issues with the lights recently, so you'll need a flashlight. There's one in the next room on a table, next to a radio. It'll be quite handy in the upcoming areas. I know that this may not be what you expected, but the truth is, there are many versions of life after death and God's basement is one of them. Thank you for trusting me. Your cooperation. 
cooperation is greatly appreciated. Once again, if you run into anything suspicious or strange, ignore it to the best of your ability. I'll talk to you again in the next room, after you've retrieved the flashlight. Good luck. So, uh, when you say anything suspicious, were you talking about Grandma Margaret here that was hiding behind the door like a creeper? Because that was mighty suspicious. She didn't want to be my friend. She just slammed the door in my face. I found it mighty rude if I'm being perfectly honest. Why do ghosts never want to be my friends? What have I ever done to any of them? I mean, sure, I've tried to exercise a couple of them. But I very rarely succeed. Okay, you need to oil your doors. Oh, I have the flashlight. Can I have the hammer? Really? You're going to show me the hammer and then not allow me to take it again? For shame! Dear Mother, uh, sorry I haven't been answering your calls. I know it wasn't your fault, but losing Kevin and Dad has taken a toll on all of us. I think Sarah and I just need some time to grieve and accept what happened. Take care. Your son, Neil Young. Wait. Oh, okay. Wait, I thought we lost our granddad. Hi. Hello? Really? You are going to interrupt me when I'm brainstorming? Do you know how long it takes me to get my brain cells to function and you're going to interrupt me like that? Mighty rude. Almost as rude as you slamming the door in my face and refusing to be my friend. I'm not impressed with you, Grandma Margaret. Okay. So, did you say you were going to... Wait, is this locked? Oh! Oh, that was the bang! You locked it behind me. Well, that's fine. I didn't want to go back there anyway. I didn't want to have to go speak speak to anyone. Didn't he say he was going to bring me on this side, though, after I got my flashlight? Is there anything in the bed? No. I still want this hammer. I don't think there's anything else I can interact with. I can stare intently at this. Ooh, the secrets! Do I get to know the secrets? I feel like I'm a very good person who can tell the secrets to. I'm only 99% certain I'm going to grasp. Nice bridge. I can't tell you which one it is though. Why is there, why is there just an empty open cupboard? Is there something I'm missing? I'm going to guess yes. Hmm, hello? I know for a fact someone's going to try and call me at some point. Go anywhere. I oh, there you are. Found a flashlight. Oh, do I seem to look at you? This door. Things can get quite dangerous. Your memories from your past life are still probably blurry, but they'll start coming back shortly. For the time being, make your way down through the hallway. I highly advise you not to spend too much time looking around. If anything makes an attempt to get your attention, ignore it to the best of your ability. Anything or anyone approach you, do whatever is necessary to avoid contact with that entity. Most importantly, do not, I repeat, do not acknowledge their existence. If you follow these guidelines, you should be just fine. Give me a minute or two to unlock the door. Once the screen shows that it is unlocked, you may proceed. I'll see you again soon. Good luck. Okay. So, uh, was it just me? Or did he just tell me to go make friends with any spooky ghosts we see? That's what I heard. I definitely heard that we need to go acknowledge the existence of ghosts. Any ghosts in here? Any ghosts that would like to be my friends? No? I mean, I thought the same was gonna happen, considering I have to wait for this to unlock. You're just very slow, aren't you? For someone that likes to call himself the operator, you don't work very fast. Oh! oh thank you for the video! I appreciate it! I mean, you could have changed the station though. Give me more variety. Hello, creepy ghost. Oh, did you turn the chair around as well? Hello, spooky ghost. Don't worry. I am going to learn all the secrets. Oh, my door is open. Goodbye, spooky ghost that threw a video at me. Grandmother, 
Grandmother, are you here? Where am I, your grandmother? Oh, can I move this out of the way? Oh, I, I can, um, I can sort of clip it into the wall. Does that count as moving it out of the way? Nope, that's locked. Okay, we'll go down the deep dark up. Hello? Oh, I found a couch. Delightful. Don't mind me, I don't particularly want to be sitting on it though. I don't know where that couch has been. Here's a very deep dark corridor. Anything could have been happening down here. Oh, is this light always on? I don't remember. Hey, it's grandmother! Wait, what does this say? God did it! Forgive me! Deep psychology. Hello? Oh, the door has opened. Hello? Oh, Grandmother! Grandmother, did you say you needed forgiveness? What did you do, Grandmother? Did you... Oh, were you actually the driver? Were you the driver in the car, Grandmother? Did you kill your husband? And my brother? Don't take it I'm gonna squeeze in here. Grandmother! Grandmother, I've been told to make friends with all the creepy ghosts. Well, it's not nice to be locked in here. Oh, maybe she really wants to be my friend as well. That's why she locked me in here. In other news, a car crash resulted in the death of a grandfather and an infant child. Authorities reported that the car swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The only survivor was the grandmother of the infant child. Although she suffered major injuries, she is currently in stable condition. Authorities also reported that the grandfather was driving the vehicle and that alcohol might have been involved in the incident. Was that a lie, Grandmother? Were you the one really driving? Did you frame your husband to take the blame because he died? Why would you do that, Grandmother? Okay. I'm gonna assume there's nothing else here for me, so, uh, time to leave! Oh, I just squeezed my way through that door. It's very tight, very, very tight. Are you racked with guilt, Grandmother? Hey! Have they always been open? Maybe I just needed light on the other side, who knows? Has this door opened now? Oh, it has! Thank you, Grandmother. I'm gonna assume you're the one that opened it. Oh, curses. Why is there another phone here? Wait, I can't read that. that. They never answered any of my letters or my calls. I waited an eternity to hear the sound of their voices. Why have I got a sad feeling that letter actually... Actually, my grandmother probably didn't do anything wrong, and that letter was from my grandmother. Who everyone blamed for the death of the grandson and his husband, and cut her off. And that is why she's now a creepy ghost haunting these halls. Seeking revenge for being abandoned. I swear, eventually, one of my conspiracy theories is going to end up being correct. Grandmother! Oh, what? Why is it always the phone? No, I'm leaving! Oh, I, leave. I can never just leave, can I? I've always got to answer the phone. Hi. Hello? Grandmother, is that you? You sound very sad. I feel bad. Unless you're responsible, in which case I don't. Grandmother! Well, if you're just gonna cry, I'm gonna go look around again. Hello? Oh, was this light on last time? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, guess it must have been. Hmm. Is that phone call stopped? Yes, it seems to have. Grandmother is very, very upset. Hmm. I don't know if there's any reason to go back. I doubt it. We must keep pressing forwards. Eventually one of these doors is going to be open, correct? Grandmother, can you open a door for me? Please? I'm sorry I ignored you. I'm assume. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's the phone again. Why is it always the phone? <laughs> it 
Stop crying. Oh. What are you supposed to do here in the sun? Oh. Hello? Grandmother? That's you. Oh. I don't know what to do when people cry. I get so awkward. Oh. Are you meant to make jokes? Oh. If you make a joke to cheer them up, is that a good thing? Or do you just stand here and, um... Well, I can't even just stand here and pat her shoulder because she's over the phone. You good now, Grandma? Okay, I think you're good. There's something I'm missing, then. Hmm. I don't know why I'd have to come back there, though. Then, then again! They usually lock the door behind you when you're done with an area, don't they? Like here. Full on locked. Grandmother. I know you're very sad, but I'm not sure where to go. You're, you're still not opening doors for me. I'm confused. Is there something in particular I need to do? Oh, there's a whitey thing. I said the phone again. No, I'm not doing it. No, I refuse. I refuse. I'm not answering the phone again. I have listened to you cry on the phone twice, grandmother. Maybe I was just supposed to close the door. I don't know. No. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not listening. I'm going this way. You keep ringing all you like, I'm- Oh! Oh, I was actually supposed to ignore the door? Or was I supposed to- no, Ignore the door, ignore the phone? Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Because the note was saying, oh yeah, they don't talk to me anymore. Aha, uh -huh, progress! Dear mother, Hey, I know it's been a while since like, we last saw each other, but I just wanted to let you know that delivery was successful. It's a perfectly healthy boy, and we've named him James. He's absolutely adorable, and I can't wait for you to meet him. Take care, your son, Neil Young. Wait. I'm glad you made it through in one piece. Whatever you saw might have jogged your memory a bit, even though all of it occurred before you were born. Your parents, Neil and Sarah Young, had a son named Kevin. Your grandparents were looking after him when an unfortunate incident occurred. After losing their only son, your parents decided it would be best to create some distance between your grandmother. Although she tried her best to seek their forgiveness, the grief they felt was too painful. For a long time, they stayed out of contact with your grandmother. After a few years, they had you, James Young. They still were quite distant with your grandmother, possibly afraid the same incident might happen again. I don't want to bore you too much with those details. There is something I require from you. For you to unlock more of your memories, you need to go deeper into God's basement. To do that, you need to retrieve a security card to get past the door to your right. Fortunately, there is one down the hallway to your left. Just follow it all the way down, past the area with the red lights, and it should be in a storage room filled with shelves. Once you retrieve it, bring it back and slide it across the panel next to the door. I know you still have your suspicions, but I swear all your questions will be answered. Once you have a complete understanding of your past life, I'll tell you what God's basement really is. But you have quite some ways to go. Keep doing exactly as I say. And one last thing. Good luck. You know, I kind of feel bad for the grandmother. I mean, I know he's making jokes about how it's all conspiracy and she's the one that actually was driving and was junk. I mean, it, but it sounds like she really wasn't. She was just cut off from the family. Which... 
I can understand not wanting to have her look after the new child on her own, considering she didn't stop the granddad from driving drunk. But maybe like supervised visits at least. Oh, I mean, completely cutting her off from the family. That seems unbelievably cruel. Hello, are you grandmother? Oh. Do I need to put these in a certain order? Wait, hold on. Or maybe just press them quickly enough. No? Okay, um... Let's see if that note actually tells me what I'm supposed to be doing those. I'm guessing I need to press them in a certain order, right? Last night, I had a dream. I was walking towards my son and his family. They looked so happy together, and I yearned to be part of it. As I kept walking, they kept shrinking, becoming more and more distant. Even as I increased my pace, the space between kept exponentially increasing until they disappeared. I haven't seen them since the accident. My son writes to me every now and then, but will never answer any of my calls. I haven't heard his voice in years. They recently had another child, an adorable baby boy. I desperately wish to see him. My son wrote to me saying that he couldn't wait for us to meet. I, I pray that he keeps his word. Margaret Young. I'm... I'm thinking he didn't keep his word, huh? Okay. So is there anything to show me which order these things are going to need to be pressed in? Because clearly I need to press them in the right order to open it, right? I don't think I said it here. You don't know that. That was just about Aston being born. Hi. Has anyone got any colour answers? I cannot go in there, apparently. Oh well. Well, I guess I can just press randomly till I get it right. I'm good at that. Visitors, please report to the office before entering. Radio. I'm guessing that's where all the colour buttons are. Oh, maybe I only need to press the buttons with the cameras on? Oh, oh, she's still there. So that would be... 246? Two. Maybe the ones with the lights off? I don't think it does, does it? Ooh! Oh, okay, it does! Spectacular! Okay, so it is trial and error, but I can do this. Okay, so it's definitely five. I feel this might be a little slow, because I'm going to have to basically wait for them all to go off. Well, okay, no. Five and three. Boom, is it? No, five, one. Yes? Yes, okay, five one. Five one four, there we go. Nope, nope, that is wrong. I don't know if there's actually something that tells you. But I'm I'm seeming this is just going Ooh! Oh I'm on roll! So five one two six four Yes! I got that! Perfect! I swear if there was actually something to tell me what the answer was, I am going to be so upset. I thought I was big braining my way through it. Hello? Creeper? I saw there was a creeper down the corridor. Have you left? Why does nobody wish to be my friend? I'm going to get such a complex. Okay. Ooh, the music's back. Hello? Am I going to get this um, radio yeeted at me as well? Where even is this radio? Oh, there it is. Well, thank you for the tunage. I... What did I come here for again? Oh, a key card! Has anyone seen a key card? I'm guessing it's gonna be somewhere. I mean, if it's not somewhere, I'm gonna be so upset that I was told to come here. Hello? Hello, has anyone seen a key card? It's kind of flat. A bit squarish, a bit rectangly. Um, opens doors. It's quite useful. 
No. No one. No, not in the right area. Maybe it's by the radio. No, it is not. Where's this gate guard then? Is it in the drawers? No, I don't seem to be able to use anything. Excuse me, I've arrived here and I'm getting no key card. Hello? Okay, we are going to look at Ifin very closely. Yes, we shall find this key card. Key card, please. Ah, key card! Hey, I told you my plans to look very closely would work. That is very, very flashy. Oh, something's happening with your music. It's going quite distorted. Friend? Is there any friends here? Hm, I didn't see anyone. Okay, well I'll leave you the distortion. Hello? I hear crying. Well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go. I don't particularly want to get crushed by, uh... What? Scaffolding instead of shelves. I wonder if, can I see you on the uh, security camera again? Hello? Are you here? Nope, you seem to have disappeared. Okay, I've got things to go do. I've got a security card now. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for the music. I wonder if that was still my grandmother. I don't know. Unless my mother is also dead. So it could have been her. Anyway, let us go. Perfect, I am through! Now, whatever dark secrets am I going to discover about my family? Hmm. So I'm guessing that I've never actually met my grandmother then. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Hello? Ow! Is that my blood? Is it the blood for me continuously getting hit in the face? Oh, the rabbit's here! Hello! Dear mother, how have you been? It's been pretty hectic over here, balancing family and work. James is about half a year old now, and he's growing healthily. I have some bad news. I might have to relocate to another state because of my job in the next few months. I don't know for sure yet, but there's a high probability of that relocation. I know I promised to let you see your grandson, and I really intended to let you see him, but it's difficult to find the time. I'll keep you updated on everything, your son, Neil. I feel like if we really, really wanted to um, let her see him, we could have found the time. I mean, I'm pretty sure this grandmother would have traveled to us had it been necessary. And honestly, I get it. I get, I get the trauma of having your son die so you don't particularly want the grandmother to be around, but still. Authorities reported that the car swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The only survivor was the grandmother of the infant child. Although she suffered major injuries, she is currently in stable condition. Authorities also reported that the grandfather was driving the vehicle and that alcohol might have been involved in the incident. Hi, grandmother. So, um, at least you got to meet me now, finally. There's one big spotlight. Wait, hello? Where's the client coming from? Grandmother, is that you? I don't feel bad, I swear. But I had no choice, Grandmother. What is this box, anyway? Oh! Hello! I saw you move. What, um... What's in the box? Are you okay in there? What's in the box? Why is there, like, an electricity symbol on it? Is a demon gonna jump out of this? Is my grandmother gonna come out of the box? I mean, if my grandmother comes out, I'll be mighty impressed. Oh, oh okay. I know if my grandmother's gonna come out the box. Never mind. I was just curious what was in that box. It was very, very wiggly. I was gonna be impressed if my grandmother had managed to fit herself inside that thing. Oh, am I 
an interrogation room? That doesn't seem enjoyable. James, it has been some time since I've last seen you around. By now, you should have some idea of the history between your grandmother and your parents. After the accident occurred, there was extreme tension between them. It was understandable given the context of the situation. Your parents wanted some space due to the grief they were experiencing. Your grandmother, dealing with the guilt and loneliness, longed for support and forgiveness, something your parents did not grant. I promise we'll get to your part of the story soon. To satisfy your curiosity for a bit, I'll tell you a small truth about God's basement. God's basement is a place to reflect on your past life. That statement might be a bit broad, but I'll tell you more as you continue your journey. As for this area, there seems to be a locked door with a keypad. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'll see you around soon. Good luck. You know what, it's not that big. I mean, I understand, this place is purgatory. It makes us reflect on everything that's ever gone wrong, or we've done wrong, or is every wrong that's been done to us. We must summarize our life here. Then again, I'm kind of curious what, oh, hello, what my part of the story's gonna be in. I mean, if I wasn't, if I've never actually met her. Oh, there's six part of these papers. Oh, is there gonna be details? There's gonna be secrets on this paper. And there's another. Wait, oh, I can see. There we go. Okay, two pieces found. Oh, did I make that three pieces? I'm on a roll. Hello? Is somebody there? Grandmother, is that you? Do you want to come help me find some papers? Hmm, guess not. Hmm. Where are you, you sneaky tiny pieces of paper? You can't hide from me forever. Like I said, I shall find you. I shall find you all. And I shall read whatever secrets you keep. I have a feeling that all the pieces of paper are going to be inside here. I mean, why have five inside if you're going to spread them out? No, I'm guessing the last one's in here somewhere. Which shell were you on? You can't hide. Show yourself! Nope, that didn't work. Don't know why I thought it did. I mean, it's an inanimate piece of paper, but never mind. It was worth a try, perhaps. Do I need to do my zoom-in technique? I can do it! Ah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna look very closely at everything. I feel like I need some kind of detective music going on. Dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Wait, is that detective music? I don't think it is, but never mind. It worked! No, it doesn't, because I've still not found this piece of paper. Am I incorrect in my assumption that it's going to be inside? Is this what? Maybe that's the troll. Maybe that's like, yes, we'll put five pieces inside. Because then they'll assume the six pieces inside as well. And they'll never find it hidden outside of the shelving units. <laughs> Which is that's how I'm assuming the conversation went. Okay. Oh, never mind, it's right here. <laughs> okay, I found everything. Now, what do I do with it? Oh, wait, I want... Can I go set the table back in the other room and put it together? Because it looks like there's some numbers on there. I can! Wait, there we go. Dear son, it's been a couple of months since I've received a letter from you. I was just curious about James. How is my grandson doing? When will I get to see him? I've been so lonely lately. You said in your last letter that you'd let me see him and that you would keep me updated. But I'm sure you're very busy with your career, along with raising your child. Please don't leave without telling me. I might just die of heartbreak if I don't get to see all of you before you leave. Love, Margaret. 0911. See, I'm just, I can understand the parents, but the accident wasn't Malicious, I don't think. And it, it's a bit, I think it all depends. Did 
Margaret, no, the husband was drunk. If he was drunk. Oh, hello. Is this the rabbit like my grandmother wanted to give me or something then? Is that its significance? Oh, it's locked. Like, what, what if I close the door behind me? Will that open the door? I've closed the path to my past. Can, no, no, that didn't do anything. Hmm, what if I look intently at the bunny? Hi, bunny. Do you have secrets for me? I don't think I can see. Wait. Hi. Hmm. I don't think I can go through here, can I? Did I miss something? Is there more secrets I haven't found yet? Ooh, maybe I need to close this door, actually. Farewell. Is this going to be a movie box as well? Is it going to start bouncing around the shelves? Okay. Closed all the doors. Is that good enough for you, rabbits? No, where do I go? Oh, what, what is that? Can I see him? Grandmother? Grandmother, are you okay? Oh, I'm pretty sure that says hi. Hi, Grandmother. I mean, you can definitely see me now. Oh, are you in there? Oh, the bunny's on the floor. I'm guessing that's our grandmother at the door before we left, right? Oh, did we, did they, did our parents just ignore her? Oh, that's mighty rude, isn't it, rabbits? I just feel like what would have been the harm of supervised visits with us? Unless she'd actually gone full on insane at this point, in which case, yeah, I can kind of understand. Oh. That, that, is that blood anyway? Is this all written in blood? Oh, the door's open now. Well, farewell, rabbits. Try and comfort my grandmother if you can. I'm going to proceed. So I'm guessing I'm going to find my parents somewhere in here as well. Oh, hello. Hey. Grandmother, is that you? Hi. I heard you're not doing very well. I heard you're very upset. It's understandable. Um, nice to meet you. I'm your grandson. Wow! Mighty rude, Grandmother. Thought you wanted to meet me. Guess not. Well, I'm just gonna go then. Walk, turning around and walking away slowly. But oh, actually, you didn't even turn around. You just walked away. Hmm. Ooh. What door is creaking open? Not that one. Is it this one? Wait. What am I hearing? Am I hearing a murder? Grandmother? Did you kill or do a killing? <laughs> you did, Grandmother? Oh no. Grandmother, did you go insane and kill people? Bunny, are you still on the floor? Oh, you are, that's good. So, um... How's it going, Grandmother? Oh! So that's the police lights, right? Can I, can I see anything? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, we don't see anything. We just see... Flashing lights and pos... Is that a person over there? No, no, it's just blood trails. I'm just curious, who died? Grandmother, or did our grandmother kill someone? <gasps> did grandmother kill my parents because she wouldn't, they wouldn't let her see us? Or did our parents finally kill our grandmother for some reason? Okay, left, right, or forwards? Anyway, we know the truth is always right. Right is always the answer. Uh, except now when apparently I can't interact with the right door. Anyway, I knew it was left all along. Say, what kind of fool would choose to go any other way but straight ahead? Hey. Okay, all of these doors are a lie. I have now discovered the truth. Oh, and all the lights are going out. Hello? It's 
mighty dark here. If I uh, let me guess, I've been locked in. Yep, nothing to interact with. So, is there anybody here? Oh, my grandmother! I don't think she likes me anymore. Huh. Well, this is a new location. My home. So, did my grandmother go insane and start murdering everyone? I hope you're okay. That looked like it probably hurt. Good news is, this room looks relatively safe. Why? I also have some more good news. You're going to be exploring your early childhood memories. Ooh, delightful. For the most mm. part, Jeez. you were raised by your grandmother. Um, what? A good chunk of your memories have manifested themselves in the form of journal entries. Read those carefully as they represent your thoughts and emotions at the time. You probably thought you'd be stuck in that dimly lit, creepy office area forever. At least you're getting a change of scenery. God's basement tends to manifest itself in an unusual way. The more you remember about your childhood, the creepier things can get. Remember when I asked you to ignore anything unusual? Well, that was just a joke. It's obviously there for a reason. The only reason I said that was to frighten you. I find it quite amusing. Well, I should probably wrap this monologue up. Find more about your past. And one last thing. Good luck. Wait. So was um, my joke about our grandmother killing our parents actually true? I mean, if we were raised by our grandmother... Oh wow, she really did kill them. Couple brutally murdered by William Miller. Brutal crime scene emerged this weekend within a quiet suburban neighborhood. Two victims, Neil Young and Sarah Young, were viciously stabbed by an unknown assailant. The two parents leave an infant son behind. Authorities do not have a lead. And it was reported that each victim was stabbed over 30 times, resulting in the faces of the victim to be heavily distorted and mangled. This brutal crime has shocked the local community. Wow. Grandmother's a savage. Not even in the good way. Oh, it now has writing on it. Can you hear it? Why it's noise? The sound of silence. Well, it's just the sound of the TV, to be honest. Um... Where's that? Okay, so... Parents denied grandmother access. Grandmother went insane and murdered parents. We were raised by our insane grandmother. Radio. Okay, is there anything else I can interact with? Because the door doesn't want to open. Deep psychology. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you for releasing me from my imprisonment. So... Grandmother really did go massively insane, huh? Grandma's been acting strange lately. She seems to be very forgetful and misplaces a lot of her belongings. Like her car keys and medication. It was my birthday last week, but I think she forgot that too. I'm going into middle school pretty soon, so I'm a bit nervous about that. I hope she starts getting better soon. James. Well, it seems tells me she's only going to get worse. So, um, I'm guessing the fact she murdered her child isn't going to be helping her psychosis. Oh, it's a blank piece of paper. Delightful, thank you for that. Grandma is acting strange again. Recently I've been finding random letters on all the pictures and paintings we have hung up. There is always just one red letter randomly drawn inside the painting. I asked her about it and she said she doesn't remember writing the letters. Well that's interesting. Well, let's go look for these letters. 
Is it, is it wait, which but which painting precisely is it in? I don't see any here. Okay, never mind. There's gonna be other pictures, right? Hello, I'm looking for red letters. I see nothing. Did that child lie to me? Why, why would you do this, child? I was getting excited to find these letters. Nope, the child's a liar. They believe nothing that we see. Hmm. Okay, so now we've established there is no- Oh, there is letters. Okay, M. Is that the only one we've got, M? Huh? Did that just get really bright? You seem to have brightened for some reason. I mean, I'm not imagining it right. That, that seems to be getting quite bright. Wait, so is M the only one? Seems to be. What do I need? I can't interact with the M painter, can I? Oh, hello. I'm supposed to zoom in on the M, apparently. Is there any of the letters we need to zoom in on? Doesn't seem to be. Maybe the M has now opened the door. Is M allowed to sing? Ow! They keep getting hurt on that banister. Nope. We are still locked out. And I haven't seen any of the letters anywhere. Grandmother, can't you just write more letters very quickly for me? Oh my god. It's right there. Jesus Christ, that was... Oh, Jesus. These are going to be hard to find then, aren't they? Okay, I'm getting very up close to all of them. That one was not there before, I swear. And he's appearing randomly. Do I need to find one for the next one to get revealed? Is that why I'm struggling so much? Yes. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Good job. Okay, apparently I found it though. Oh, I've already found it. It's murder. You're spelling murder, grandmother. Are you confessing to being a killer? Because I'd already worked that out as soon as I... What the hell was that one? Oh, okay, apparently I'm collecting these without even seeing them anymore. And it was that like a D. Yeah, there was the D. Okay, we just need one R. Wonder, am I gonna find it before I see it? Most likely. Oh, no, I see it first. There it is. Okay, we know about the matter. In other news, last weekend. A brutal crime was committed in a quiet suburban neighborhood. The two victims were a young couple, recently turned parents, that were viciously stabbed while sleeping inside their bedroom. Authorities reported that the bodies were mutilated to the point of being unrecognizable. The two also left behind an infant son. Currently, there are no suspects or leads as to who committed the murder but authorities are adamantly investigating the situation. Hmm. What well, I gotta say, isn't it usually, considering the viciousness of the attack, then clearly it's going to be seen personal? Isn't that usually how it works? Like, random attacks can be brutal, but this one targeted mostly the face. And 30 times is a lot to kill someone with. Something very strange is happening with Grandma. She doesn't seem like herself. She feels very distant and less lively. She doesn't enjoy talking as much as she used to. She seems very quiet, like she's always thinking about something. Unfortunately, her habit of forgetting things isn't getting any better. She frequently forgets to take her medication, so I have to remind her very often. I hope her condition improves. James. Well, with the sun's bit, she's not getting any help, so I doubt it's going to be improved. Hello? Grandmother? Grandmother, are you in here? Well, oh, it's locked, so I'm going to assume you're in there. Well, get, take a medication. Take gets Everywhere is locked. Oh, can I? I can be nosy. Welcome home. Oh, thanks, Grandmother. Um, you want to come out? 
I found your welcome home note, I appreciate it. Is there anything else for me here? More pictures! Oh, you've not written on these ones yet. Hmm. Oh, I heard the door! Grandmother, is that you? Why, uh... Why are you watching the camera? Why are you just watching cameras, Grandmother? Um, are you watching what I'm doing in the hall? Oh, wait, can you see me? Can you see me, Grandmother? If I stand here? Where's the camera? Wait. Where's, where is the camera, Grandmother? I'm, I'll leave you to it. Goodbye. No, I won't leave you to it because apparently it's still locked. Okay, that is the only thing I can interact with. Grandmother! Are you in there? I don't seem able to come in. Wait. Okay, so that's... Where, where is this camera? Because it's got to be watching from like this angle. Because that's kind of what you see, right? I know it's like... Gra Hi, Grandmother! You, uh... You doing okay there? Being a bit of a creeper, huh? You're not there, you liar! I've looked for you! You're not here! So, uh... Oh. Entry number eight. Recently, my grandmother has been acting strange. I've been waking up in the middle of the night hearing her crying. I usually find her pacing back and forth aimlessly. She usually won't even notice I'm there until I make my presence known. After she notices me, she gives me this blank expression, then walks away back into her bedroom. Sometimes I'll press my ear against her door, and I'll hear a distorted version of this classical song she always listens to. Although these incidents are rare, they still creep me out. It happens about once every few months. Hopefully she gets better. Oh, she's not getting better. Oh, you left more notes for me. Oh, I think she's happy I'm home. Instead of, uh, you know, with my parents that she brutally murdered. Grandmother? You know, I was really feeling bad for you, Grandmother, but I kind of don't feel like I can. Now I know you brutally murdered your own child and his wife. But you definitely seem to be suffering because of it. Ooh, more information. I'm entering my first year of high school. I'm pretty nervous about it, but excited at the same time. My grandmother was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The diagnosis didn't really faze her. She seems a lot less lively these days, just listening to the radio or TV most of the time. I try to talk to her about current events and casual topics, but her responses are more bleak and dull than they used to be. I wouldn't describe her aura as depressing or gloomy. A more precise word would be hollow or empty. It's almost as if part of her has drifted off somewhere and has yet to return. She would have episodes like this before, but the frequency and length of the episodes seem to be increasing. James. Well, that, that is a lot of responsibility to put on poor James' shoulder. I mean, now he has to look after his grandmother, right? I mean, it's not like uh, our father is around to help, considering he was brutally murdered, grandmother. Oh, is this where she came to listen to TV? In the video? Oh, no. 
Oh, it's some flowers. For some reason, I thought it was an orange. Grandmother? Grandmother, are you, are you doing okay? I don't know where you are. Did I get looped? I do believe I was. Well, let's press forwards. Let's not press forwards because it's locked. Well, okay, we can go left. I think I've been here before, though. How many times will I loop this hallway, do you think? Many times. I can't do anything with the cloth. Oh, my note's gone this time. I wonder if anything else has changed. Hmm, this seems the same. Grandmother? Ah, there's a new note this time. This all seems the same, but why? Why are the books backwards? Why do games do this to me? Oh, it just hurts me every time. You can't read the spines! How many times do I have to say this? James, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've misplaced my keys somewhere. Can you please find them for me? Just place them next to this note once you found them. Grandma? Um... Should Grandma really be driving? Wait, I actually have to go find her keys? Should Grandma really be driving? I don't think she should. I don't think it's safe for anyone. Grandma, you're gonna kill someone else. Well, uh, Someone else? Someone the first time? I don't know. Have you actually killed anyone yet? Did we respond? Did we work out how responsible Grandma was for that accident at the start of the game? Oh, this is new, isn't it? Today, I landed a part-time job tutoring my neighbor's kid. I can't get a real job yet since I'm only 14. But at least this will give me some kind of income. Regarding my grandmother's health, there have been no major changes. She remains uninterested and perpetually distant whenever I interact with her. Something kind of strange happened today. I curse her having a conversation with the radio. The thing is, the radio was off the whole time. She was arguing back and forth with it, as if it was a real human being. It kind of reminds me of the crazy people you have to deal with when talking to public transport. It's kind of messed up, but I found it just a tiny bit funny. I'll probably be sent to hell for laughing at it, but I couldn't help myself. I have a sick sense of humour. I love her to death, and it pains me to see her deteriorate like this. I hope she gets better. James. Oh, poor James. Oh, I found your keys, Grandmother. But, but again, I hope these are your house keys and not your car keys. But here you go. Are you pleased now, Grandmother? That's the same note. Why do I get a feeling I should not have given her the keys? I mean, if she's deteriorating as fast as it sounds like she is, that just sounds like it's going to end badly. So, uh, am I staying here still? It seems like I am. Never mind. Not sure. Oh, Grandma left me a note. Are you lost? No. I've never lost. I've never been lost for a second in my life. How dare you insinuate. I feel rather hurt. Are oh, you lost, I tell you. What? Anyone would think you've seen one of my videos. Anyway, goodbye. Oh, curses. There's nothing for me to interact with, though, is there? Grandmother, can I leave? You seem to have locked me in the house, Grandmother. I don't appreciate it. Is there something else I've missed? I thought I'd done rather well. Until that mocking posted note. Okay. This room is very, very empty, so I can't really imagine me missing anything in here. The door at the back doesn't open. I've checked that. Oh! Thank you! Apparently me admitting I was lost actually opened the pathway for me. Yo, looping hallway! Oh, no mind. Wait, hello, no mind. Okay, I'm back. Has everyone missed me? No, that's still locked. Could go that way. What about this way? That's locked as well, okay. Is that door? Oh no, it's a shadow. Never mind. Mm, piece of fabric? Okay, that's locked. So have I gone the wrong way? Was I not supposed to come back here? 
Ah oh, well, well at least I know I can come back here if I need to. But the same note. Um Ah no, it's different! Last night, I caught my grandmother staring at a painting in the middle of the hallway. It was in the middle of the night with her eyes locked onto the picture. It was kind of eerie seeing her entranced by it. After staring at it for at least half an hour, she walked off casually. I took a closer look at the painting and it was completely blank. It was literally a blank piece of paper she was staring at. At least I have some good news. I earned a raise from my tutoring job and I've started tutoring another neighbor's kid, so I earned more money. Yay! I just wrapped up my first year of high school, so I'm glad I'll have something to keep me busy throughout the summer besides taking care of my grandmother, James. Well, we're a very entrepreneur. What, what's the word? Entr entr oh, I can't say that word. We're a very enterprising kid. Good on us. And you know what, I'm not even going to judge grandmother for staring at a blank piece of paper. Considering, isn't there that piece of art which is quite literally three blank canvases? I find myself unimpressed with modern art, if I'm being perfectly honest. Is this the painting? Should we just stare at it intently? Actually, it's probably not this one. Didn't he mention it was in the middle of the hallway? So is it one of these? Is it you? Do I? Oh! Hey, do I just have all of them? Never. Not this one? You sure? Apparently not. He never. He never what? Forgive. Maybe it's only the small ones. No? Well... Oh, do I need to look at these in order? So he will never forgive you. I can do this. So he... Will should be... There, right? Yeah, will? Then never. Never! He will never... Mm. This one's forgive, right? Forgive you! He will never forgive you. So I'm guessing this is like grandma's thoughts about what we will think if we uh, found out the truth, huh? Is there no words on the big paintings? Yeah, mother? To be fair, I I'm pretty sure me finding out you killed my parents would be very hard to forgive. Nope, that's the same one we've already read. Grandmother, oh, is that a new open door? We do like new open doors. Now, why do I keep getting abused by these doors? Are you going to pay writing as well? Apparently not. I woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of plates breaking. I dashed out of my room to see what was happening. I saw her in the kitchen, repeatedly trying to carry a plate from the kitchen to the dining room. While walking over the dining room, she would drop the plate and repeat the process. I walked over to her and guided her back to her bedroom. I set up a small barricade so she wouldn't be able to get out so easily. She could really hurt herself. Maybe I should just set up a barricade so she doesn't get out of her room at night. I'm in the middle of my second year of high school right now, and it's been really hard balancing school, friends, and taking care of my grandmother. Most of the time, I have to turn down social events because I have to stay home and make sure she doesn't do anything crazy. You see, this just seems like a lot of responsibility for a poor child. I mean, how old are you, how old are you in your second year of high school? You can't be that long old, right? Like, either 12 or something? That seems really young. Maybe 14. I don't know how high school works, okay? I'm British. We have secondary school. I think that's more or less the same thing. I don't know. I'm not smart. I don't know things. Okay. Oh! Oh, there's the plate. Oh, that almost hit me, Grandmother. Oh, oh you, you dropped your decorative plate. 
Grandmother, are you okay? Do I need to lead you back to bed? Are you gonna break the other one, Grandmother? This one? Is this one gonna get broken as well? Do I need to pick up light pieces or something? Hi. You're gonna break the other one. That door is definitely not clickable. Maybe the notes changed. Nope, there's uh, still saying about the middle of the night the plate's breaking. I ain't back with anything. Maybe I should remove the plate so they can't be smashed. Nope, I just stare down at the plates that Grandma has just smashed everywhere. You know, the music is getting very cool. Oh, it's the same news. I'm crying. So going back to my uh, original thoughts, was it actually Grandfather that was driving? Because um, I'm finding it hard to trust Grandmother recently. You know, considering the whole murder and everything. I don't know, she just, um, she seems a bit suspicious. Just a little bit. Grandmother, are you here? Are you up to something, Grandmother? Oh, the door's opened. Thank you. Um, someone broke a plate. Wasn't me. I can't, don't, I can't be blamed. Do not give me that responsibility. Maybe if I close the door, huh? Goodbye, Grandmother. Can I go back here? Oh, I can! This door is finally opened once more to me. Well, um, I'm sorry, Grandmother. I, this is too much responsibility for me. Oh, no. There is no escape. We can never leave. I really think this child needs help though. I mean, I wouldn't even know what to do to look after someone who was that ill. Hi, hey, Grandmother. Uh, I found your rocking chair and your music. And your books placed backwards. Quite barbarically, if you ask me. Wait, was that more light down? Oh, that was just the light down, never mind. Um, hey, Grandmother, do you want to come sit down and... Yeah, music is intensifying. At least someone cleaned up the floor, I suppose. I cannot go back, that's fine. I can find somewhere else for me to do. Do I just need to stand here and listen to the music? Maybe I do. Can I sit in the chair? Oh, oh, it's too late. Music's over. Stare with a blank piece of paper. Is that what I need to do? Music's back! Remember the... I don't know where you are. Hmm. Does this even do what I need to be doing? I don't think there's anything I could interact with in here, was there? We'd be really putting fire in it to our grandmother. Oh, it's distorting. Haven't we mentioned that before? Did it distort because I looked at this? I think it did. Why does this distort it? Oh, in this place, he does not dwell. God is not present. No one will help you here. Hal is here! Well, that, uh, that sun turned quite red. Grandmother, 
Remember, maybe you should not go back to your room. Um, I seem to have invited Hal. Terribly sorry. Um, I, I suppose I could fix that at some point. Maybe just stay out there for a while, yeah? Oh no. Remember that, did you have an accident? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh no, say that I told you I shouldn't have this responsibility. Grandmother? Grandmother, I promise I forgive you. I mean, I know you did murder your own child and um, my parents, but I promise I'll forgive you, I'm sure. Static. Do you want some more static, Grandma? I'm starting to worry about the future. Grandma's condition continues to get worse. Is she going to stay like this for the rest of her life? I hope not. What will happen if I have to leave for college? Who is going to take care of her? The way it is now, I can barely leave her alone for two seconds without her breaking something. I'm currently in my third year of high school, so I still have a little bit of time to think about it. Hopefully I'll come up with a solution later. I think the only solution is getting special help. I mean, clearly she requires more supervision than we can give her at the minute. Hmm. Grandmother? I'm coming to find you, it's fine. I followed the lights. See, I've learned how to play games. Oh, oh, I'm back here. And clearly the light indicates this door. There is the staticky noise again. Grandmother. Oh. Okay. Don't know what that is. Maybe I should close the door behind me. I wasn't born in a barn, I knew. Okay. I just entered my senior year of high school. It's time to start thinking about what happens after high school. I recently applied for this scholarship. It would pay for basically all my expenses, including tuition room and board and everything else my biggest issue right now is my grandmother we don't really have any relatives or anyone to take care of her besides me will i have to take care of her for the rest of my life the answer seems to be yes her condition keeps getting worse and worse i know this is selfish but i feel quite bitter about this current situation i keep having to make sacrifices for her sake Hopefully I'll think of a solution rather sooner rather than later. See, I don't really see that as being selfish. I mean, yeah, unfortunately the grandmother is very ill. And I'm not saying we should just abandon her. But at the end of the day, we do have to live our life as well. So is there no solution where we can put her into care? Then again, I suppose that would be expensive. And as a child of high school, do we really have the funding to do that? Grandmother, was that you? Are you here? Are you okay, Grandmother? Where did you go? Hmm, she wasn't there. It's gone again! Ah, well thank you for opening the door at least. And now I must do what I always do and follow the lights, right? Wait, wasn't grandmother so- Ooh, there's our- There's our bunny! Is this what I did to my grandma's room? Did I just board it up so she couldn't get out? I know I said we were going to barricade it, but that seems a little intense. That wasn't a good- I don't think that was the best solution. How long were we leaving him in there for? Did we? Have we accidentally killed our grandmother through neglect? Is that what this story's gonna be getting at? Grandmother? Grandmother, are you okay? Aha, there's my note. Are you lost? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Are you scared? Are you frightened? Are you without hope? Are you without God? Hey, operator. 
You know what? You're kind of giving me Jigsaw vibes. I would like to play a game. <laughs> I mean, I'm not criticizing. It just, it, it doesn't get rid of the sus vibes. I'm gonna tell you that much. I feel like we kept her locked in there for too long and she may have passed away. That is the vibe I'm getting. I didn't even hear grandmother that time. Okay, we must cycle once more. Grandmother? Grandmother, are you okay? What's our new note say? I have great news. I was one of the recipients for the scholarship. There is a downside though. I can only use it on certain colleges. The list they gave me are all too far away to commute on a daily basis from our house to the college. So we would definitely have to move. The problem there is that no one would be able to take care of my grandmother. I can't just leave her. She can't cook or buy groceries or do anything by herself. I'm practically her caretaker rather than her grandson. If I leave, she'll probably wind up dead from starvation or some other accident. It feels like I don't have many options here. James. Ah, uh, maybe... Can't we speak to someone like a counsellor or something and tell her what's going on? The fact that our grandmother's deteriorated so badly that we are looking after her now. Oh, hi, Bunny. Are you leaving me too? Oh, that kind of emotional blackmail. It's not good, grandmother. I'm gonna head off now. I am seriously getting the vibe that we may have caused her death. Hey, there's no note this time. Do I just need to proceed? Uh, oh, my bunny's moved again. Hey, Grandma. How are you doing in there? Need to oh, I can go find a hammer, apparently. Where would a hammer be? So, wait, maybe I can go through this door. No, okay, that's still locked, so there's definitely gonna be a hammer somewhere. Bunny, do you know where the hammer is? I mean, I would have thought we'd have left it nearby where you are, uh, you know, gonna be opening Grandma's door up again. Where would I have put a hammer? In the cupboard? No, none of them seem interactable. I can't get through this door either. Aha! The drawer! Why was there blood on the hammer? D did I? Oh, have I actually killed my grandmother? Or did my grandmother kill me? I mean, let's face it, it wouldn't be the first time she committed murder. I mean, if she realizes I'm about to leave, maybe she did go insane. Well. Either that or I kind of broke her head open. One of the two. So which one of us committed the murder? That's what I need to know. Well, I know Grandma definitely has already, but still, in this one instance, which one of us was it? Come on, operator, I know you wish to tell me. My grandma's door remains unboarded. And the bunny. <laughs> Grandmother? Grandmother, was that you? Hm, interesting. Anyway. How are you doing, Grandmother? Hi. Did, I kill you? Did you kill me? Is that it? Did my grandma kill me and my parents? Wow, she's killing everyone. Did, are we sure she didn't kill my grandfather as well? And my brother? What have you got to say to me? James, it's been a while since our last encounter. That was a lot of information to absorb. I hope you got most of it, but I'll try to summarize the best that I can. You were trying your hardest to get by high school while also taking care of your grandmother, along with holding a part-time job. At the end of high school, 
you had amazing grades and received a full ride scholarship. The only problem was you would have to leave your grandmother to attend college. She raised you all by herself after your parents passed away. It tore you up inside, knowing that you would have to abandon her to move forward in your life. Slowly but surely, her condition kept deteriorating, to the point where it was an extreme burden to provide care for her. You had to make a choice, abandon her and move on with your life, or throw away a full-ride scholarship and sacrifice your potential to take care of her. Are you ready to find out what choice you made? This is kind of exciting, isn't it? Well, I won't make you wait any longer. You chose to stay. You felt that it would be wrong to abandon her, especially when she needed you the most. She took care of you when you were abandoned, right? You were just returning the favor. If you haven't noticed, this area represents your old job. The one you worked while taking care of your grandmother after you graduated. First thing you should probably do is sign in. Enter the door to your left and find your ID card. I'll speak to you soon. Good luck. Okay, I kind of see where this is going, right? I sacrifice this my opportunity for her. And let me guess, I'm not going to take it well when I discover that, no, she didn't actually raise me after she abandoned my parents, essentially abandoned me. No, 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 she raised me after she murdered them. So clearly, I'm not going to take this information well when I find it out. So I am actually full on predicting I'm going to murder my grandmother. Why is this one cubicle left open? I have no idea, okay. Anyway, better get to work, I suppose. Why do I have to work in the afterlife, aren't I, Dad? Ooh, it's good, God. Thank you. What am I going to be doing then? Zink. Signed in. I'm signing in. Wait. Number of boxes. I've got to organize. Oh. Wait, is this all my job is? Just organize boxes? Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Where does this one go? This one is this one, right? Yes, perfect. It matches perfectly. Why don't. Okay, I'm going to be. I am going to do this. Very, very strategic. We are going to grab all of the same box first and we're going to work our way systematically. There we go. So, you know, this actually isn't a bad job. This is a very, very mindless job, but very easy. There's no effort to this. It's not too bad. We're going to get everything perfectly. See, look how neat and beautiful everything is. Are you having fun organizing those boxes? You know what I am? It all looks very nice, pretty, and organ- Can I not- Why can't- No. I can't take that box, that annoys me. See, Evan looks very nice and organized and pretty. It's actually enjoyable. You can leave me to this now, I'm going to put all of these in the way in their perfect places. Okay, we're going good, we're making progress. Look, we've got nine done already. It's beautiful. Okay, I've got eight done already, one of them was already there. Okay, you don't need to mock me. I'm making great progress. Okay, there we go. And next is you. Look how beautiful this shelf is. Are Those are perfectly aligned. Heavy? It must get pretty tiring doing this eight hours a day. Nope, nope, it's fine. A week. It's fine, it's pretty easy. Pretty mind numbing. And should I be allowed to put my headphones in? I can do this. Easy. I mean, the only bother thing I have is apparently I can't reach the box on the bottom shelf. Because apparently I have no crouch. Never mind. Okay. Are they all of those boxes done? Awesome. Which one should we do good at that? So we'll get to the bags. Bags seem like a good idea next. Good. Okay. Bags go here. Come on. Come here. Here we are. Yes. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This is remarkably satisfying, actually. It's just all so neat and beautiful. Look. Hey, Look how pretty it is. think you missed one. No, I didn't. I'm Look fine. Over there. Uh-huh. Yeah, which corner? Uh, sure, okay. I'll get to it in a minute. I've just got, um, a lot more to do first. Why are you specifically pointing out a corner one? I've got other things I'm supposed to be doing. Do you not see all these boxes on all these shelves? Yeah, there's this guy phoning me up, thinking he can tell me how to do my job. 
Huh? I've been doing this for years. I know exactly what I'm doing. I have a method. Thank you very much. I don't need your backseat driving, Mr. Operator. Does it get tiring? Nope. Doing this job day after day. You only seem to come home having to care for your elderly grandmother. Okay, so um, you're putting words into my mouth. I've never said a single thing. I've just said this job is fairly mind-numbing, which it is. Very monotonous. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. Man, my bags are looking very pretty. The only thing that's bothering me is the bottom shelf, which I can't pick things Do up on. Do you ever feel regret? Nope. Maybe you should have just taken the scholarship and ran off. Eh, uh, possibly. But too late now. I have committed to my actions. And I've committed to this course of action until I find out she killed my parents, in which case I'm probably going to kill her. I have discovered the truth of this game. I know why I'm being here. I know why I'm being tortured with phone calls and operator voices. Okay. You know what bothers me? Why have we just got one empty shell? You wasted. Was it worth it? Yep. Doing the same thing every single day. What I mean? Sure, this is our job now. But maybe we're working on our own projects. Maybe we're working on videos or we want to become an artist or we want to become a musician. I mean, who knows how much do I really know about myself in this game? I mean, yes, all I know is I'm looking after my grandmother and sorting boxes, but I could be working on my own projects. I could be making monsters. Are you anxiously waiting to get home, or do you find this job more tedious than taking care of her? Eh? I'm bleeding the fifth. I have that. I'm in America, right? I can do that now. Okay. Oh, I had more bags. Didn't realize. I kind of abandoned my uh, whole plan of doing things by box type. Now I'm just grabbing randomly and hope for the best. Say 30 out of 50, we're doing good. Yes, look how organized and pretty it is. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, I'm nearly done. This might be incredibly boring for you guys to watch, but it's incredibly satisfying for me to do. It might seem like I'm trying to belittle you. Yes, but yes I'm you just are. Relaying the thoughts you had at the time. You're not in my head 24-7. You don't know what I was thinking back there. I mean, I don't even know what I was thinking today. Good luck to anyone else trying to understand my thoughts. You don't think there's logic there? Ha! <laughs> you don't know me! There we going. Oh, very pretty. Ooh, I found another bag. Delightful. I need three more. No, 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 I need a whole row more. I need eight more bags. Oh, can I take these bags? Yes, I can. Oh, thank God. I want to put all my bags in. Wait. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? I only need five more, but there's so many. Sacrificing the future for the present. Sacrificing all that potential to have a clear conscience. Was it worth it? Well, I mean, at least I can sleep at nice operator. Can you say the same? There's a genuine question. You're an entity, right? So can you actually sleep? Do you have the capabilities? Hmm, any more bags? I'm focusing on the bags again. Wait, come here. Give me the bag. It's quite messy in here. Why would you let it get in the state? Like, why have you got boxes up here as well? Got boxes everywhere. Wow, great job, James. Thank you. Wait, I'm not done. There's so many more boxes. All over again tomorrow? But why don't I just get it done now? I mean, there's so few boxes left. Why don't I get it finished now? Then I wouldn't have much to do it tomorrow. And that's of course, there's all the new ones. Oh, that's why there's no shop Unix. There's a bunch more. Wait, so you've just gave... Oh, that box floats. That's very impressive. So you gave me far more boxes than you required me to complete? Why? Oh, oh, is the job not being done is very unsatisfactory towards me. Oh no. You know what, I'm just gonna leave because I can't reach the bottom shelf anyway. So I'm not going to be able to um, finish this room anyway. So if I can't finish the job, I might just leave. I've done 54 boxes. I'm expecting a hefty bonus for my overtime. Farewell. Okay. Am I up home now? 
You gonna speed to me, operator? Hi. See, I've done four extra boxes. Um, how much bonus do I get paid for this? Ah, is this me coming home to my grandmother? Grandmother, I've arrived. Are you alive? Grandmother? Are you home? Well, I hope you're home. I don't think you can be trusted to go outside. Is this mine? No? Okay. I can finally pick it up and do nothing with it. 35 mm. Is that a real movie? I feel like I've seen that case somewhere else. I feel like that case was in another game. I'm pretty sure I asked if that was a real movie in that game as well. And then forgot about it and never checked on it. Oh, why is there knives? I feel like if we're concerned about our grandmother and she's going to be home alone, we should hide the knives. You know, lock them up somewhere so she can't accidentally hurt herself with them. Like, why have you got pans in the living room? Why are the pans not in the kitchen? This opens. It opens to nothing. Oh, I can just interact with things now. Interesting. Can I open the bottom drawers as well? Nope. Uh, hey, grandmother. Are you in the basement? Why are you in the basement, grandmother? With the hammer and the saw. Well, apparently I want the hammer. Am I going to go hammer Grand's door up again? Well, apparently this is the, the only solution I've got. Maybe I should start looking in the basement. Where? Oh, wait. Well, I've already locked her up. And now I need to come home and release her from her bedroom. Well, does she have an ensuite at least? Grandmother. So I feel like barricading in her room, if she can't access the, the bedroom, is quite cruel. Okay. I will eventually find... Ooh, can I open this? One of these things is going to have sink in them, I'm sure. Oh, those are the planks. Hey, grandmother. Ah, is this mine? Is there anything I need? Nope. No, I think it's fine in here. Sorrow. Who's the sorrow? Is it my gran? Be upset. Yeah, I don't think I can interact with the door. Hmm, maybe there's something else I need to do first. I, I couldn't go in here, could I? No, that's locked. Grandmother, where are you? I'm assuming you're in that room. Okay, nothing in there. These ones I can't interact with. So why besides did I need the hammer? Hello? Grandmother? So I found it down here, right? So what am I missing? Anything I, I was assuming I was going to need to barricade a door, but it didn't give me the option to. I'm pretty sure I did hear some music coming from her door, though. Hmm. I mean, at least she eats, probably. I think she's had food, which is nice. Wait, wait, is that bed? Did she leave the stove on or was that the cover of the pan? Is there anything, anything I need? No? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what you need me to do. I found the hammer. What, did you want me to uh, smash the phone? 
ne? Oh. Is there any reason I can turn this over? I have no idea. Hmm. Anything else I can enter? Oh. No, there's still nothing in this one. What precisely am I looking for? That's what I want to know. Whatever it is, apparently I can't find it. Grandmother. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Can you help me? Because all I've seen... I've seen the boards. But... I don't see a way to use them. Do I need to find nails or something? Is that what I need? Is that why I'm not being allowed to do anything? I don't know where nails are though. I saw the sorrow note, but uh, it doesn't seem to have done anything. Oh, wait. Hello? Aha, now I'm building the barricade. I just need to look at sorrow for longer. So let me get my barricade in so I can go to sleep. Still seems a bit cool. Do I want to go to bed now? No? Well, guess I can go back to the living room and look at my phone. I'm sure you'll be fine in there, grandmother. Is there anything down here I needed? Nope, it is still locked. Anyway, how's my phone? Oh, there's a note now. Clean up any broken plates. Hide kitchen knife under the bed. Check emails on phone. Nail wooden planks on door. Turn off all lights and go to bed. Okay, so kitchen knife under the bed. Clean up all broken plates. Turn off all the lights. I see. Oh, these weren't here before, were they? I don't remember them being here. Remember the you somehow sneak out of the, uh... Bedroom while I was barricading you up. Great cheeky. Well done. Don't know how to turn the... Wait, I don't think there's a switch here. Maybe this one gets to stay on. Who knows? I'll find all of the other light switches. Oh, wait, there's here. Come on. Perfect! Let there be darkness! I need to uh, hide them. Ooh, more broken plates. Oh, she really is very dropsy. There we are. Take the knife. Why am I, um, needing the knife into my bed? I'm guessing these ones can stay on at least. Well, I've turned off most of the light in there. Okay, light off. What else was that to do? I had check emails on my phone, right? Wait. Um. Wait. Okay, don't think I can check the emails on my phone. Oh, maybe I need to hide the knife into my bed first. Let's try it. Man, this one's my bed, yes? There we go. We should also get the other lights while we're at it. Nothing down there, that's fine. Turn the bathroom light off. Yes. Everything shall be very dark. Perfect. Can I check the emails now? Oh, I can. It is unfortunate that you have declined our scholarship program. Thank you for applying, and we hope that you are successful in all your future academic endeavors. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, what else is left? I've nailed the wooden plants, I've checked my emails, I've hidden the knife, I've cleaned the plates. Now I just gotta finish turning off the lights and go to bed. Okay, well, I feel that's most of the lights. If not all of the lights apart from my bedroom one. So, well, what's the chance of her getting out of her bedroom, do you think? See, I'm not a heathen, I know to turn my lights off. 
and I know to close my doors. I'm assuming that one will turn off as soon as I go to bed. There's no other switch, right? There we are. Sleep! Am I leaving that one on? Ah, probably for the best. I mean, if I need to suddenly grab that knife, apparently. Am I gonna hear Grand breaking out the barricade or something? Oh! Oh, we're usually hearing Grand breaking down the barricade. Grandmother, I recommend you simply sleep. Why am I still awake? This is not good. Is Grandma gonna, gonna find the knife and stab at me? I hope not. Come on, Grandmother! Check it out! Nope, no one's home, Grandmother! Oh no, that's loud. Which then my door she was banging on a her door. Am I just gonna ignore it all night? Seems like it. Oh, that sounded like planks getting took down. Wait, she didn't actually seem that well barricaded. Because doesn't her door open inwards? In which case she can open the door and then duck under the planks. Oh, that's a nice noise, I suppose. Did you hear that? Do I need to grab the knife? You know, the knife I left right there. Grandmother? Oh, Grandmother's out of her room. At least I've still got my flashlight. Where did you go, Grandmother? Okay, at least that one's still locked. You're not down in the basement, at least. Uh, grandmother? You doing okay? Oh, have you gone for a knife, Grandmother? Hi. How you doing? You seem to have gone for the kitchen. Grandmother, what are you doing? Are you breaking everything again? Pain? Are you full of it? Patience? Are you out of it? When will your suffering end? Grandmother? Where did you go? You sound remarkably loud and echoey. As you know, you've stopped making any noise when I came down here. Are you in the kitchen? Stay away from the knives, Grandmother. Then again, it seems to be the plates you're aiming for. We seem to be down to one plate as well, which is quite unfortunate. Okay, the rest of the knives still seem to be there at least, which is very good. Thank you for leaving the knives alone, Grandmother. together like maybe I want both our sufferings to end I mean clearly she's got no quality of life and neither do I at this point today I found my laptop broken I left her alone for just a few minutes while I was in the bathroom and I guess she walked into my bedroom and had an episode I'll have to drain my savings in order to replace it Ooh, that's unfortunate how, what did she do to break it? Yeah, mother, why were you in my bedroom? Oh no. Oh, 
Where did she even go? Okay, so she. I feel like at this point we also need to start buying plastic plates. Things that won't shatter upon dropping them. Because clearly we've gone through so, so many already. Do you feel the resentment pulsating through your veins? Do you feel the last breath of patience exiting your body? Do you feel the rage welling up? Overflowing? Displacing empathy, sympathy, and love? Do you hear it? It's calling you. A way out. Follow it. Let it guide you. Wait, are you recommending I kill my grandmother? Voice, is that what you're getting at? Are you trying to get me to grab the knife and stab her? Okay, no, it's not actually telling me to get the knife. There's one thing at least. Oh, are you back in your bedroom? See, I told you, the door opened. Oh no, does it open outwards? Actually, I think it does open outwards, so she must just be really strong. Where's this music coming from? Where, mother? Where are you? Okay, that's the broken plate. Do I supposed to be coming back here or not? I'm guessing not since the music seems to have stopped again. Where was the music coming from then? Where, mother? Where are you? I'm trying to follow the music, I just have no sound location whatsoever, so. Okay, it's not the front door. Mother, where are you? Where did you go? Oh! It opens now! Grandmother? Are you down here? Hello? What is all this? Oh! So wait, this is... everything we've read so far about um what the crash and the couple of the brutally murdered is this when i discovered that my grandma is the one that killed While everyone sifting through some old boxes you found an interesting set of documents that revealed the truth about your past your grandparents were involved in an accident that killed your grandfather and your infant brother it wasn't your grandmother's fault entirely but your parents couldn't help but put the blame on her with no family or friends left, living a hopeless and bleak existence, your grandmother decided to murder them. With your parents out of the way, she could raise you all by herself. Her desire was selfish and evil. That was all you needed. A way to justify her death. A way to break the burden of taking care of her. Do you remember what you did? I'll walk you through it once more, just in case you've forgotten. I told you that's where this game was going to go. This game was going to put us as looking after her until we discovered the truth that she killed our parents. And then we were going to end up killing her. I knew it! Ooh, red. Red means scary, doesn't it? Red means murder of our grandmother. Get the knife. Get the new radio. Get the phone. Place the knife on her bed. Replace the old radio. Place the phone on the table outside the door. Wait outside her room. Wait, are we trying to set her up? So she'll end up killing herself? Oh, actually, okay, so you've got... Where's the knife? I thought I left the knife in my bedroom. Do I need a different knife? Get my light back, thank you. Everything is red. Everything is scary. Oh, I've laid everything out for me. And I should really, um, you know, hide all of these murder plans I've written. I mean, it is, they're gonna be the first way to get me caught. If they just find at least one of these. Let alone, like, the thousand of them I apparently have. No, not. I thought it said place it under her bed. No? Oh, please, on her bed. Wait, where do you want the knife? Wait, did that... It's not letting me place the knife anywhere. 
there. I'm pretty sure it said on the bed. So why are you not letting me place it? Get the knife. Place the knife on her bed. Is that not her bed? I'm pretty sure that is her bed. Is there a specific point on her bed it needs to be? Maybe I need to pick these things up in order, so get the knife, and then get the new radio. Okay. Okay, I've got the knife, I've got the new radio, and I've got the phone. Ah, so I do need to do it in perfect step-by-step -step order. I understand! So then the knife needs to go on the bed. The new radio... Here. And the phone outside her door. We're the operator? She's following through, isn't she? She's listening to this voice. Definitely counts as murder. Now that you've done the process twice, for the third time, go to the left of the original spot. Once again, keep applying pressure until the knife penetrates the flesh. Oh damn! Your She's is dying! Job. Now return to the original spot. I want you to jab the knife into the wound three times. This time, don't slowly apply pressure. I want you to press the knife into your stomach as hard as you can. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Oh, damn. You're doing a wonderful job. How is she still going? Are you suffering? I know you are, but don't worry. It'll all go away soon. No wonder I ends up in purgatory. Are you ready? All you have to do is to repeat the process except this time. You know, this seems kind of worse than me actually killing her myself. Whenever you're ready, just quickly thrust the knife into your neck. Then very soon, all the pain will go away. That's it. Let it all go. Pass on into the next world, wherever that might be. Goodbye. I can guarantee you will not be missed. I mean, I understand why we did it this way. Because mm, there's likely we won't get charged with murder if we do it this way. If we can... Yeah, if we can make it very clear that she was mentally unstable. And that we were sleeping when she did this. James, you murdered her. Yeah, I did. You knew about her delusions. She always talked about the man in the radio, so you decided to become that character. You replaced the old radio, and then played an audio file telling her to stab herself repeatedly with a knife. You knew she was delusional and had episodes of schizophrenia. 
She followed your instructions and eventually bled to death due to her self-inflicted injuries. Since all the evidence pointed to a suicide, you weren't charged with anything. You finally got what you wanted. You were finally free. You might be wondering how exactly you ended up dead. Well, for the first few months, you lived your life carefree. You actually enjoyed life to some extent, not being tied down by an ill relative. But eventually, that all came crashing down. It started off with brief, horrific, gruesome nightmares. Visions of her stabbing herself endlessly, blood gushing out of her wounds, flooding your mind with blood-red guilt. Slowly, these nightmares leaked into your daily life. You'd see her out of the corner of your eye, whether you were driving, walking down the street, or at work. Even though you killed her, she never really left. She lived in your mind and haunted you every day until you eventually couldn't fall asleep. Every time you closed your eyes, even for the briefest of moments, she'd manifest in your subconscious. Eventually you went to the hospital and you were prescribed sleep medicine, but that only suppressed the issue. Slowly your body adjusted to the medicine and you needed to increase the dose for the medicine to be effective. This process kept repeating until you were taking multiple times the recommended amount. You were addicted, until one night you overdosed on sleep medication. Right now, in this moment, your physical body is currently in a hospital bed, hovering between the thin line of life and death. You're still probably wondering why you're here in God's basement. I'll finally tell you who I am and what this place really is. God's basement is a realm for those who have committed great sin but are still redeemable. The individuals that arrive in God's basement relive their own versions of hell, allowing them to reflect on their life and watch their slow descent into evil. Their resentment, hate, bitterness, and jealousy accumulate until those emotions manifest themselves through atrocious acts, yours being murder. You were backed into a corner, watching your life slowly pass you by. All those opportunities you sacrificed, all that potential wasted, you became bitter and resentful. Many could sympathize with you. Many might have even done the same. You were hopeless, and it felt like you were inside a living hell. I am called the Operator. I am an entity that manifests in God's basement. I manifest myself in different ways depending on the person. My job is to guide the person inside God's basement and allow them to relive their life from a different perspective. In your case, I manifested with many characteristics resembling the man in the radio. Hopefully this explanation cleared everything up. You're still probably wondering what happens now that you have all your memories. I mentioned earlier that God's basement are for those who are still redeemable. Even though you committed an atrocious sin, you were trapped in a hopeless existence also, the person you killed wasn't really your grandmother. She was a shell of her former self. Your grandmother died long ago. Part of you wanted to see her suffering cease. Your crime was both cruel and merciful at the same time. You are going to get a second chance at life. Pretty soon you're going to wake up in a hospital bed out of your drug-induced coma. Learn to live with what you did. The feelings of guilt, paranoia, and pain will never completely go away. James, make the most out of life, and be grateful for this second chance. One last thing. Good luck. You know, I was predicting a lot. I wasn't actually predicting we're technically still alive. 
And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if part of Grandma's situation was actually caused by the same thing caused Naz. Guilt of the actions she did. But then, of course, there was also the mental illness going on. But damn. The only problem I foresee is that, uh, aren't we not going to have ridiculous medical bills as well for now being in this coma? Because this is America, right? So, I mean, it's not like uh, the UK when you've got healthcare. So, we're going to have so many bills. Oh, damn, we're in trouble. But I lived! Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of God's Basement. God was saying, I was really not expecting a lot of that. I mean, I was not actually expecting the grandmother to kill the parents. I mean, I did feel bad for her, but that was a little extreme. As always, if you want to check out the game, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed your time here, then please don't like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, I hope it's a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.